Oh, let me do this. Let me take off my glove. Huh? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Red here on another warm February 25th, 2023 morning. Golly, right now it's 73 degrees. And as you can tell, we got a lot of overcast in, in, in the area right now, which doesn't make for good uh, conditions to remove a beehive, but it is what it is. And look at our bees right up there, right beneath that piece of uh, T111 and, and the tar board, uh, the paper board right there. That's where our bees are clustering right there. And the whole area above them is just, I'm imagining it's gonna be full. But I'm also imagining is, what is the condition of this hive? Here we are the end of February in Louisiana and our bees are making preparations to swarm. Everything, as Charlie and I were coming up here, it was a beautiful ride up here, about, it was about 32 miles from the Abbey. And there's just so much stuff blooming. Uh, the, the, pine co the pine trees, the, the pollen sacks are out, the oak trees, the, they're starting to bud out. The pollen sacks are all over it. There's all kind of things blooming. And here we are, I mean, we're out in the country out here and it's just full of, full of new growth right now. And so what's going on inside that hive is only gonna reflect what's going on outside in nature. So I'm, I'm really curious to see what's gonna, what we're gonna find once we pull that piece of plywood off the side, how big the hive is and what, what, what's going on with it. And I know I'm gonna give Fred his description, what he needs, that's Professor Fred, what he needs to know. And by the grace of God, these bees right here, they're going home with me back up to the Abbey because we need more bees. Charlie, you ready to wrangle? Oh, I'm ready. And there's a good time, Charlie. Right. Look, Look there, there he is. He's I here. didn't make it. Yeah, he's Not up. a problem. Yeah, he got, he got up real early this morning to make the ride. Let's That's wrangle it. some bees, huh? Let's get some All bees. Right, go ahead. You can see our bees right here. And I want to show you the reaction that the bees have. And, and I know a lot of it's got to do with, with the conditions of our weather right now, but watch, watch the bees' reaction to my hand coming up to them. Well, this time they didn't do it. I, when I did it last time, they all pushed up into the, into the building. So what I'm gonna do, oh, before we do that, I wanna show you in this, this area right in here, there used to be a, a, a hive right here. You can see where the bees had chewed through the tar paper right here. And then it, if I lift this up, there's some comb right there. So there were bees in this section of the wall. And then right in this area, we got old wax moth cocoon in here. And we got a tree frog right there. <laughs> so I think that guy's getting ready to leave while we get these bees. Lots of, lots of wax moth cocoons. So there was a hive on this side and now they moved up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first, I'm gonna vacuum, I'm gonna try to num knock the number of bees down. That's what I, I wanna try to do that first. So I'll vacuum up what I can out here and then along the edge right there because they're using the side of this piece of plywood as an entrance. This is just an opening, I think, but their entrance really is just the side of, of the edge of that plywood up there. And so there's really no hole or anything. It's just a crack. And I'm sure it's all propolized up. Yeah. I'm gonna vacuum up these bees right here. I don't see the queen on any of this stuff. So I'm gonna vacuum these bees real quick. Wow. Is this a beautiful hive or what? Oh my goodness. As it turned out, I was initially just gonna cut this part of the plywood out, but I still would have had to remove this part as well. So it worked out good that I took this part out too because we have comb 
even on this side. So this this has to come out um, first. Now, the thing that that you really have to be aware of uh, doing this, particularly when you are on the outside, uh, where other bees can come. So we have to we have to be very careful about the aspect of robbing. Um, it, it's this the biggest threat to these bees right now is is once I start cutting that comb and that honey smell gets in the air it's going to start attracting robber bees so for that reason I'm going to work pretty fast removing this comb and vacuuming these bees it, you can see by the coverage of the comb right here how many bees are in here uh, just looking at this and we have no idea what's behind that this, this hive is exploding right now so I'm very, very, very anxious to see if we have um, drone, how many drone cells we have in here, as well as if we have possibly even, even queen cups or queen cells. I tell you what, Mr. Red's out of shape. Just that little bit right there, that whooped me. That <laughs> really whooped me. And we didn't even got into the bees. And I, I hate to say it, but I, I mean, there's robber bees here already and we haven't done anything. So I, I think the plan of attack is I'm gonna leave bees on the comb and start just removing from the bottom up. Uh, and we'll just see what happens. Cause I wanna keep as many bees on the comb as I can so I'll prevent the robbing from going on if I can do that, but that's impossible, but that's what, that's what I'm gonna to try to do.
I think it's coming along really well. I, I, I'm happy in one respect that there's very, very little honey spillage. I got a little bit from that last piece that I cut out right here. And that's really what I'm trying to avoid. But the unfortunate thing is there is not a lot of honey stores. Now we may find some the further we go up, but these bees at this time of year, this is exactly when they'll starve out. When their brood is emerging or when they got to feed it, uh, there's not going to be enough for all these bees. And so consequently they may starve out. So in a way, it's a good thing we are going to bring them up to the Abbey because I got lots of honey up there for these girls. Now, I cleaned out this section right here really well because what I was hoping, if it would happen, that the bees would migrate over into this side. That's really what I kind of hope, and that's why I cleaned it up. And it, it may be working. I mean, there's bees coming over here, and I'm hoping that if we don't find our queen over here, that she's actually going to run over here. So I, I'm going to have to go ahead and cut some more of the siding, so the original siding, off of this to get it back up to where this one was. But I still got some more comb to take out. Probably, there'll probably be at least four more good sections of comb in there to take out. And my goodness, a lot of bees. Let's get up this ladder. I gotta show you this. All right. All of our brood comb is now out. And all that's left is honeycomb. So when I said earlier, well, I don't know if they got much honey. Well, that's all their stores right there. They have three good frames and a little bit right there. Still haven't found that queen, but I still suspect she's in there. I don't think I vacuumed her. But we're gonna get this comb out and <laughs> you know I'm looking real hard for that queen. But that is some nice looking honey. In fact, you can see how yellow the cappings are on that comb right there. That's all goldenrod right there. And then, then as it lightens out or gets clear right here, that's just like tallow or privet. But that's definitely the goldenrod that was blooming in September and October. Take care of that piece you got in your hand first. She's right there. All right. Let's get up there and see if we can show you where the queen is before I grab her. Let's see. She's in this cluster right there. Let's see if I can. I'm on that 
t top of the ladder, so I, I really have to stretch out to get it. But I'm gonna have to give Charlie the camera. I saw her walking around. Let me see if I can poke the knife up here. See if we can get her to come out. Yeah, she must have run over here. See her. All right, let me get up closer. And Charlie's gonna have to get the camera from this point. Charlie's getting pretty right now. Watch it. Yeah, no, just. Do you think there's a little bit of robin going on? There's quite a bit of commotion <laughs> going on behind us. So Charlie, tell me what, what happened today. <laughs> well, it's good and bad. The good thing is we got the whole hive out. The bad thing yeah, is the thing. queen took a dive. Yeah. And so she's down here somewhere. And so we're in the process of looking for her. So, so what, what happened was when I was up there pulling down the honeycomb, I saw her run. And I mean... The rooster could have seen, and this queen is huge. She's huge, big old red butt. And, and, I, and I couldn't do anything. My hands are full. She's right there. I had to come down the ladder. And, and that's got to be 11 feet to the top up there. So it, anyway, I got down, got, got rid of that comb, went back up, saw her again, and she ran into the bees. So I cut out another piece trying to get her, and she wasn't behind that. And then <laughs> I went one more time, I had one more piece of comb to cut out. And when I cut it out, boom, there she was. And she tumbled, well actually two bees got on her and she tumbled down. And I don't know where she is. Hey Rooster, that's our story and we're sticking to it, okay? <laughs> yeah, so, so Charlie, <laughs> to, to, to make up for the, as depressed as Charlie is right now, and me too, we're gonna go, we're gonna go eat at the Chinese buffet in a meat. And, Ooh, yeah. and and since it's we've got to pass back this way again, we'll stop back by. Maybe some of this stuff will calm down by then and see if we can find our queen walking around. So that's it, huh? That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. We'll be making more. God bless Mr. Ed and Good time, Charlie. We're oh, before I leave, before I leave. What? Before every time we'd go out on a on a on a removal, we try to get color coordinated. Well he never calls me, you know, to tell me what color it's pot that lock. we wear. Every time it's well, potluck. I took care of it this time. <laughs> I took <laughs> All right, see? All right. He's now. ready for anything. That's right. God so, bless. We're out of here.